Well, we will go ahead now and begin our ceremony in recognizing the young people who have completed, successfully completed the program. And um, we'll move on from that point. Mr. Nicholas Goins, program manager, will come to the podium now. This week in the Atlanta Business League Student Business Shadow Project, the students learned the meaning of work from Mr. Joshua Menifee, gained knowledge on proper interviewing skills from Ms. Karen Smith, had a ball at Turner Field, and studied up at the Auburn Avenue Research Library. This week's spotlight, Noah Tate, who is shadowing Mary Parker at All-in-One Security Services. You're watching this week in the Student Business Shadow Project. between success and unsuccess, okay? Knowing what work is, knowing the importance of work, actually doing some work, putting forth those energies, those physical and mental energies to accomplish and achieve those tasks and goals that you all set for yourself. So good sir, tell me what work is. Work is the exertion of physical and mental energies to accomplish or achieve a task. Yes it is, good sir, tell me what work is. Work is the exertion of mental and physical energies to accomplish got a nickel for every time somebody asked you that question, you'd be able to hit the salary if you want all of it. For real, seriously. Whether it's in the club, at the amusement park, family reunions, your first day of class. Okay, stand up and tell everybody about yourself. Alright? That never happened, huh? So you need to know what that is, and you need to be able to focus it, script it through your, your answers. What is it that, when somebody walks away from you, when I walk away from this class today, what are the three things that you want me to know about you? Because for any one of you, I could end up interviewing you at some point. You never know. Hello, my name is Noah Tate. I'm here at All in One Security Services. Basically what I've been doing the last few weeks is I've been defining business terms such as uh, attendance and punctuality, uh, what it means to have a good first impression, things like that. I've also been working on um, video analytics and uh, with Mr. Rick and he showed me a couple of videos of what happens when they set up their motion sensors and alarm systems in different places. We're so very happy to have Noel with us working to our, uh, through the Atlanta Business League Student Shadow Program. He is doing an exceptional job. Well, that's what we've been doing this summer. And just to tell you about what the Student Business Shadow Project is, as you heard, this is our ninth year in the program. And how it works is an eight-week summer program where on Mondays we have our education and training days where you saw Mr. Joshua Menifee and Ms. Karen Smith in the video. And we had different topics from financial literacy to dining etiquette to business etiquette and those sort of natures to, for business and personal development for our students. On Tuesday through Thursday, our students are paired with a business that they shadow throughout the program. And during this session, they learn, it's sort of like an internship, where they get to engage in the business workforce and see sort of the, as the real world aspect and have a hands-on approach to what business is. And then on Fridays, we're fortunate to go to different site visits and see different organizations and how they operate. And not just the products that they produce, but how those products get made and the people and the workforce that goes into making those products, not just um, the sales, but the marketing, the financing, the, the HR, and that sort of nature. And this year, we were so blessed to have eight students with us that were just dynamic. Uh, they were attentive, they were asked questions, they, they studied, they did above and beyond the call of duty, and we're so proud to have them in this program for 2013. In fact, um, I'm just going to call up our students. As they come forth, Mr. Jonathan Davis. 
Jonathan, you're going to come forward. Jonathan is a junior at Martin Luther King Junior High School. Jonathan has been one of our key, key students in this program. And Jonathan, Jonathan shadowed with Sheila Montgomery at a credit union of Atlanta. Our next student, Ms. Naima Davis. Naima is a junior at Tucker High School, and she interned at the Careers in Transition. Do we have someone for the Careers in Transition? If your student has come up and you are a uh, business shadow, we ask that you come forward as well. Thank you. Congratulations, Naima. Our next student, Ms. Shania Davis. who interned at C.D. Moody Construction Company. Shania Davis is a sophomore at Lithonia High School. Congratulations, Shania. Our next student, Mr. Kerrigan Johnson, a junior at North Clayton High School. And we have a representative from Mr. Willie Watkins, Yes, coming for the picture. <laughs> and he got a little something extra. <laughs> Our next student, Mr. Anthony Lathan. Anthony is a sophomore at Lithonia High School, and he interned at the Atlanta Daily World. Our next student, Mr. Ryan Smith. Ryan is a sophomore at North Clayton High School, and Ryan interned with Barbara Harrison at the King Center. <laughs> Our next student is Mr. Rodney Wilson. Rodney is a sophomore at Mount Zion Fine Arts Magnet, and he interned with the Atlantic Dream. <laughs> yes. If you guys could scoot down a little bit now, now that we have our pictures. Yes. We had two facilitators that supported us throughout this program. I'm going to ask for them to come forward. Mr. Henry Laws. And Mr. Joshua Menifee. Mr. Menifee facilitated our Monday sessions. As you saw in the video, he, every Monday he would come in and instruct the students on various topics from, as you saw in the video, from work to how to develop a business plan and how to develop a personal plan. And Mr. Laws was our Friday facilitator and he helped uh, put together our Friday field trip and our site visits. So thank you again. These again are our, well, our seven students that participate in our program. Let's give them one more round of applause.
And now we will have Mr. Rodney Wilson, who will explain from the student standpoint what the summer program really meant to him and what it was like. Rodney. Oh, uh, good afternoon. How's everyone doing? So I just want to uh, give you a little insight on how everything went uh, this summer. Well, my name is Rodney Wilson II. I'm one of the eight participants in the Atlanta Business League Student Business Shadow Project. This has been a great experience for me personally. I've learned many things from my time in this program. Going into this program, I was a little skeptical because I believed I wasn't going to be able to have any fun this summer but I was wrong. Uh, we were able to do so many things. I also was able to get so many things that were necessary and were a necessity in the business environment. While working at my assigned business on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I learned how to be professional at all times and in my attitude and as well as the way I dressed. I also learned that a strong work ethic must is a must. It even, even if you're tired or don't feel well, flexibility in my job is one of the things that you must be able to have because things change at many times, especially on games and things like that. And we have to be able to move and roll with the punches. Uh, I learned a lot of things as well as you have to be able to be able to move a lot because every opportunity can generate revenue. I learned that from uh, the person I was shadowing, Miss Natalie White. She gave a little speech and she said that the most important thing was to make everyone feel as if they were special because all of those opportunities can possibly generate revenue. Uh, I made so many connections and I think the most important thing I learned this summer was that networking is very vital. Uh, I actually started networking at an event that the Atlanta Business League had called the Men of Influence. I met a gentleman by the name of Mr. Rodney Bullard. He told me that I had a great name. We continued to talk and I told him that I played several instruments. He then said that he would love for me to perform at one of his future events, and so we swapped information, and that was my first networking opportunity. Um, it was also a great experience going to different businesses and meeting their managers and executives. Uh, they were very informative. Each executive have a, had a different tidbit of information that I am sure will prove to be very helpful in the future. On behalf of the students of the Shadow Project, I would like to thank Ms. Davenport, Mr. Joshua Menifee, Mr. Henry Laws, and of course, Mr. Nicholas Chase Goins for all of our uh, site supervisors and all of our site supervisors for, mentioning us, um, for mentoring us this summer. I'm truly glad to know that being a successful business person does not mean I can't still have fun. I look forward to applying again next year. Thank you. That shows you the caliber of the students that we had in this program. Because I'll honestly say, eight weeks ago, he would have been scared sh straight to come up here. <laughs> <laughs> Every day that when we get together, we make sure that our students stand in front, talk, speak, express themselves, and get sort of those verbal skills that uh, they're missing so much. So this is why this program is so impactful. It's students like that. That is the fruit of our labor, and that's why we're so proud to have this program for our ninth year. And thank you.